Mario from Corks and Perrysburg joins us. Nice to see you, Mario. Nice to see you again. Good morning. And I, I had a couple glasses of wine on my honeymoon, of course. <laughs> I would hope so. <laughs> but uh, I don't know if it was either one of these. So what do we have here today? Well, um, we have two wines today. Uh, the first is a Garnacha Syrah blend, okay. um, 70 Garnacha, 30 Syrah. Um, this is from, this is Coto de Hayas. This is a Spanish wine, as I said, um, $8.99 for this wow. particular wow. wine. You're going to get a profile of some good fruit. Hold on, let's get a cheers to Abby. Sure, sure. Cheer. Oh, Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you Congratulations, so much. Congratulations, Abby. Thank you so much, John. I appreciate it. You'll get a, a nice fruit now. profile of some uh, good cherry, some uh, fruity mm. plum. I'm um, showing this first. These are very, these two wines are pretty oh, close oh. in style and also in um, flavor. And um, I think you guys have had enough wines to where you can pick out the nuances between the two. Mm -hmm. I like this one. Absolutely. What would you pair that with? This would definitely be like a hearty stew, your grilled meats. Okay. Um, and actually, I do kind of like to do some aged cheeses, maybe like marble cheeses. Would be pretty good to uh, pair with this garnacha syrup. Maybe a smoked cheese as well. Sure. Oh, sure. Yeah, we'll like a smoked gouda would be nice, I think. Mm. All right. What's, the, what's our next one? Our next wine is uh, Sangiovese from Italy. Um, actually, for those people who have heard of the particular grape. It tends to be part of a, usually the blend in a Chianti, mostly 80%, okay. but if you move up to like a Reserva, it's almost always entirely Sangiovese. Now you're gonna get that cherry flavor on this as well. However, this particular wine is gonna show a little bit of leather. Italian wines tend to be duskier, bigger mm -hmm. wines. Oh, yeah. um, you can taste it on the back side. Definitely your yeah. meaty pastas you're gonna wanna do with this. The Gouda cheese would actually be a good pairing this one? for the okay. Sangiovese. Mm. Um, this is kind of uh, normally Tuscan region, uh, a little above uh, Rome, okay. basically on the west side of Italy, and the Spanish wines in northern Spain, high elevation. What kind gotcha. of price on the? This is nine ninety nine, oh, and was wow. also an eighty seven on Robert Parker's uh, Wine Advocate, and I believe the uh, Sommeliers uh, Association of Italy ranked that two thousand eleven's best uh, winemakers. Oh wow! So Dinarante, um, the uh, this particular um, Dinarante wine, uh, Sangiovese is. Probably one of my more favorite 999 wines I've had in a while. Yeah, and That's you great. can see right there, great guys. Great price points on both. Both of the prices up there on the screen, both of the types and names, and um, I, I think I like the first one better, but I tend to lean towards the more floral, fruity types. Mm -hmm. Definitely oh, that, the more that, aromatic. Yeah. That fits there. Uh, Mario, I know you. we were talking earlier, you have a lot of reps that are coming in, mm -hmm. gearing up for uh, the holiday rush. I imagine you get real busy. Uh, as you get uh, into uh, November? Yeah, towards the end of, end of this month and into November. Uh, basically, when you're looking at the holidays, you're kind of gearing up for some more reds. Mm -hmm. Weather changing, obviously didn't expect the 73 degrees, but <laughs> um, yeah, we're, we're looking at Rieslings to pair around the uh, holidays. They go well with turkey and also with ham. Maybe a little bit of rosé and then uh, moving into more reds, obviously, as the weather gets cooler. Cool. And maybe even some ports which I'd well, like to bring on the show go. soon. Yeah. So. Ports and a nice warm fire and a cigar. Oh, yeah. Oh, baby. Not bad at all.